All right, so today we have a deep sea treasure issue. Um, if you notice right here, you have one of the little plastic hold downs that holds the little Y here is uh, halfway broken. The one underneath it, I'm sorry, the one underneath it has lost its pin completely. So we are going to replace this pin here and we're going to remove this piece and try to clean this up as best as possible and put a new one on and slap this game back together. Um, these pins are kind of important. If they're just kind of not really hitting there, it'll never really hit its little metal sensor to uh, make it go off. All right, so let me go ahead and take this apart and we can start working on this bad boy. All right, so now that we have the play field um, out, we can uh, take a look at everything. It, it looks very, very dirty, so we're gonna take a blower and gonna blow all the stuff out of here. There's a lot of, uh, um, you know, like brass residue from these uh, coins falling onto these brass pins. It kind of wears and tears them and throws the, 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 the dust all over the place, which is you know, not great for the, for the actual game. Um, so when you first get this game, you're not gonna have these little connections here. I put these on. Um, it makes it easier for me to be able to just disconnect this little wire and then slip this bad boy out. I did it for everything, so that way it would just make it easier for me. Um, so let me go ahead and disconnect a couple of these bad boys and pull this pin out so I can replace this one here and start working on it. All right, so let me, um, oh, let me turn this flash off because it's kind of blocking things. All right, so I went ahead and um, disconnected my little wires so I could pull this back. So you just gotta pull it back. That way you can remove the pin that way you can remove the other old piece and try to clean this up as best as possible. Um, you're never gonna clean it up, you know, super smooth. Just do your best. You are gonna use a little bit of crazy glue, you know, to uh, put the new one back on. Um, but there is a small little trick to putting it back on. Um, I guess, you know, you can come up with your own little trick. I like to pull the wire back, make sure it's on top of the screw right there so that when I glue it back, I know that the little channels that it's sitting on right there are correct and then when I put a little glue on there I'll just hold it down you know and I'll just try to line it up as best as possible so that way uh, it's nice free and clear um, there are two little holes there you can try to match it up to the two little holes there uh, you can use like little paper clips if you want to put into these little holes and help you guide it down and, and, and seat it in but after a while you kind of get used to it and just kind of like eyeball it, and slap it on there, and get all the nice and good. So let me go ahead and start doing this. I'll put this down real quick. I'll put a little bit of glue on here, glue this all back together, and um, we'll take a look at it. All right, so I got it glued on. Um, I know I didn't show you exactly how I did it, so let's go ahead and pretend that this piece is not here. So I'll put a little bit of glue, not on this piece itself. Let me pull one out. I really won't put the glue on this piece. I will put the glue on the actual play field here. I'll put a little bit of glue on this side and I'll put a little, glue, a little bit of glue on this side. I try not to get any glue in the channel so that way I don't glue the, the metal rod here to the play field itself. But once I get it on there, I will pull the rod out so that way, you know, there, if there is a small little glue there, it won't uh, stick. So, you know, now that it's on there, it's, you know, real nice and good. It's not gonna fall off. You know, it's all nice and glued. So like I said, you put a little bit of glue on that side, a little bit of glue on this side, on the play field, not on the actual little piece, uh, and then just kind of carefully guide it on there and stick it in there. And like I said, I, I will use this as a guide to kind of help me keep it straight. Um, but once it's on there, wait a couple seconds, pull this bad boy out, uh, wait a few more seconds, and then let, lift your finger up, and it should be nice and solid in there right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this through, put the pin in there, and then move on to the next one and replace that pin, or put a new pin in that one. So let me go ahead and finish this. All right, so I wanted to show you what I mean by uh, the pin being worn down. As you can see, the old pin, I mean, that bad boy is worn. Sorry about focusing here. Um, the new pin looks nice and strong, you know, nice and round, no problems with it. You know, so I uh, just make note that, uh, you know, now that it's out, you can go through all the pins and remove all the bad ones, uh, you know, be a little proactive and take care of them ahead of time before they break. That way you don't have to reopen the game back up. I already did that, I already checked all the pins, all the pins have been replaced. Um, 
So just kind of make a note of that since you have it out, go ahead and replace all the ones that are bad. And that way you don't have to worry about it. Um, if you're having trouble lining the, the, the holes up, there's a little hole here that this little rod should go through. I don't know where it's in here. You can kind of see the hole there, right there. So the rod, once the rod goes through here, um, you're gonna, I like to put it on the edge over here, not all the way through, and then kind of put the pin in, get it into this little tiny hole, and I'll pull on the pin in an upward motion to get it to lift up to catch, to catch on this side, and then push the rod all the way through. Just a little hint, a little tip on, on how to get the, the little, you know, rod through if you're having trouble. Uh, if not, then, you know, I you know what you're doing. So let me go ahead and uh, replace this one and we'll go ahead and slap it back in the game. All right, so uh, play field's done. Everything has been changed. Um, this one right here, which was the last one that I was uh, replacing, as I was pulling this apart so I can pull this out, the wire broke off. So I had to kind of re-solder everything kind of back together. Had to pull all the way out, re-solder the wires back on so that would have a good connection. It's probably why I was getting a pin sensor alarm that was probably getting a bad connection here and every once in a while would just vibrate enough to make it not connect and throw an error. So now that it's all back together, uh, it's got all new pins here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little blower and I'm gonna blow the heck out of this. I'm gonna blow everywhere I can to get inside of it. Um, you don't really wanna take apart this completely. You can, it's, you can put it back together. It's, it's not very hard, but it's just a lot. And it's just a pain in the butt. So I would prefer just gonna blow everything out as best as possible and just move on. So let me go ahead and blow this out and we'll set this back, back in. All right, so uh, another little thing, since you have the game pretty much open, uh, take the time to go ahead and just kind of blow the game out, uh, remove any dust from anywhere, uh, clean up any fans, uh, find any uh, estranged coins and, 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 and you know put them away. Uh, down here as well, you'll, you'll probably have a lot of coins down here. You want to pick them all up and you want to Put them back into their hoppers and get around to the back side of the game. Um, I like to open up the top and I'll use a little mini blower and I'll blow everything out of here. I'll blow all the dust out of here. I'll blow some air into the hoppers to get some dust or any little debris out of there. Uh, same thing down here. All down here, I'll just kind of blow everything out from top to bottom and make it all nice and clean. Of course, I got a buildup of coins at the bottom, so I'll have to get gather all those up and then uh, redistribute them into the hoppers. Now, if you don't know already, uh, the hoppers are requesting that they put 200 in each hopper at the bottom, and they want you to put 300 uh, coins in the, in the top ones. Um, according to ICE, it is very important to have this the correct amount of coins in the hoppers, but uh, I really don't believe it. But uh, as a good measure, I do it anyways. I have a coin sorter that, you know, I just kind of put the coins in there and it spits out uh, 300 coins for me and 200 coins, and I just kind of put them in there. After a while, you'll, it'll, you'll know where, you know, how to eyeball it just by hand. And this is about 200. And I know I have about 300 up on the top and then the rest of the coins will end up on the play field. Um, also, one other thing I wanted to show you, if you don't know how to uh, set up the edge or the lip of the coins, you literally want it to look like this, or you want to, you know, put one there put one on the top, move it over, and then one in the middle, just like that. So if you just kind of keep doing that all the way, until you get all the way across. I also like to go ahead and, you know, eventually I'm gonna have to replace this because the coating is coming off of this or uh, remove it and get it repainted. Um, but I will take some silicone uh, and clean this with silicone so that way it's nice and clean get all the dust off of it you can see all the dust on there I'm um, just clean off real good and making it real nice and slick so when the coins fall down you know they slide down real nice uh, on occasion we'll have one that uh, doesn't want to slide as you can tell right there it won't slide you know, so uh, make sure you clean the sides real good and everything should slide real well until you can get a replacement for this bad boy here so let me go ahead and slap this thing together we're going to turn it on and test it and make sure all the coins work all right so uh, last thing to do, or just make sure you do this, uh, make sure you put uh, little zip ties on the end right here so that way it doesn't move. Um, not that it would probably make a difference. It's not like anyone's going to stick their hands in here to uh, bend things and stuff like that. Unless you have employees that do that, uh, we don't. Then just put some zip ties on there. 
Make sure you reconnect everything all the way down to the bottom. Uh, you got your, your coins set over right here. Um, right before I start the game, I'm gonna put a few coins up here. Uh, make sure it's nice and clean. And then you put your plastics back on, put the glass back on, put the bats back on, and then we're gonna go ahead and test the game. So let me close this bad boy up. After it's now nice and clean. Uh, put the plastics in and start it up. All right, so uh, the game's back up. It's on, it's running, it's doing its thing. All the pins are there. Don't worry about that big black circle. That is actually a very big dead pixel. Um, I'm not gonna worry about replacing it because it's an $800 monitor and it doesn't really need it. At least that's what I'm being told. So don't have the okay to purchase that did. Anyways, so now that it's uh, up and running, you have your edge done already. It makes it look all nice. Uh, you want to make sure your coins are covered in the front so it doesn't look like there's a, a lip there or an edge there. Uh, people will think that you're cheating or something. I don't know. Um, swipe the card or point it up and then do your thing. That's it. Game is fixed. So, hey, thanks for watching. All right, so one more last thing on this game. Um, I noticed that one of my lights up at the top was not working. This one's working fine. This one wasn't working. Um, pull the old light bulb out. See the old one right there? This is like a, almost like a mini halogen. So when you put the new one back in, wear gloves, please, because the oils of your fingers will get on the light bulb and the oils would make the light burn hotter and then it will actually go out faster. So wear your gloves, make sure the game is off and install the light bulb. Maybe you can do it with one hand. I don't know, let me see. Let's see if I can do it. All right, here we go. So light bulb is in, got the glove on. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy back on. Now that it's turned back on, both lights are working, you're good to go. Final thing, game is done. Close it back up and let her play. All right, thank you.